Hello, I'm Robert, and this time I want to talk about the menus in, in my programs, and particularly about the uh, top menu. So you may know that on Windows we don't have uh, top menus as, as we do on the Mac. And each program has its own menu in, actually inside the window itself. So that's one of the things you'll notice. It's quite rare on the Mac that, that my programs have these menus actually inside the program, inside the windows. And the top menu doesn't do very much. Now, this is because the top menu is created by the wineskin. And there's very little I can do to customize that. The only thing I can do is to add websites to it. So you'll find the link to, to the online Mac beta download page and the Bounce website, or whichever website it is, depending on the program. And if you go to Help, then you find the Bounce Wiki, which is quite useful because it's got auto-translate. It, it can be useful if you have another language as your native language. Uh, but apart from that, there's very little here. There's forceful quit, there's hide, and hide all the others, and there's quit you can use. When it comes to the uh, the, and then in the window drop menu, you can use minimize and zoom, so that all works fine. I would advise against using close on that top menu, and I'll explain that in a minute. So, the and but most of the time you will be using the the menus actually inside the programs themselves, and this is where all the action is happening. And then to explain about the close icon. The using close, then the reason I discourage you from using close in the top menu is because of, again, of its origins in Windows. Then in Windows, you have a concept of the main window. Every program, every program with a user interface in Windows has a main window. And that's what takes the place of the top menu. So just as when you, when you quit the top menu, that closes the program. Well, on Windows, when you close the main window, that closes the program. So if you have a look at that, if I close this window, notice how the whole, you'll see the top menu will disappear in a minute. Sometimes it takes a little while, and there it's gone. So the program is closed down. And then you have to go here and start it up again. So you need to get used to this, that, that one of the windows is the main window. And in the case of advanced metronome, it's the window which has all these, these metronome, metronome types in the drop list. So even if you go to if you go to ops and you can split the main window and put make that separate like that. So in that situation, when you've got all split the health, tempo dial and bouncing ball separate, you've still got this is the main window, the one with that drop list. And if you close that it'll close the program. So you can close the other ones. So if you don't want the tempo dial you close that, you can close that. And you can close any other window no problem. But if you close that window, it'll close the entire program. So I've just left it like that. I could have had a kind of warning message if you close the main window, it pops up a message saying, do you really, really want to close the program? And you've got to answer um, yes or no, uh, unless you do it from quit in the top. But I think this is easy enough to get used to. That And once you get used to it, it's really quite convenient that you can just close it like that especially since you're working with, within the menus of the program itself and you're using its separate windows anyway. So so I've just left that as it is. And so I think those those are the two main things I wanted to say just now. I'll be giving other separate talks. That's just about the top menu and the close. Uh, the, uh, be careful how you use close with my programs. Uh, thanks for listening and I'll be giving more videos now about separate programs.